this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Xeno Gears. Since last time, I removed Bart's equipment and rearranged my party here, and well, now we gotta find a way to go really, really deep underwater. So we gotta get some help from the Thames. Let's see what they can do for us. And I think it's still in the same spot where they always are. You would think they'd want to move around or something so that Solaris would have more trouble finding them, but no, apparently not. Let's see if they can help adapt our gears to the underwater pressure, but before we do that, well, if, actually, you know what, let's just go talk to the captain first. Let's do that, and then we'll uh, take care of some other business getting ready for the, the next dungeon we're going to be going to. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do to our gears. Hey, how's it going? Hmm, I've never heard of that before, I don't think. What's the Sargasso? Sargasso, however you want to pronounce it. Oh, really? Now, that couldn't possibly be true. What? Holy cow. Sure, why not? Man, that's a pretty good hiding spot for Solaris. Oh. Well, yeah, that would be a problem. Hey! hey. Well, we are trying to save the world and all that, so it's in our best interests. And after all, they are men of the sea. <laughs> I, I think he's got it, Captain. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, is it any different from before? Oh, really? Oh, well, keep that in mind. It's not, like, an extraordinary amount of platforming, though the swimming physics are a little strange, but nothing too bizarre. Oh, hey, all right. Yeah, we got new upgrades for our gears here. Now, as far as my party for the next dungeon goes, I'm going to use the characters that I've got here. Uh, Ellie is pretty much mandatory, but for me, because her elemental spells are really useful down there. Your third party member can pretty much be anyone. I basically just want to use Zeepsen because I don't have to upgrade it. <laughs> and then I don't, well, thus I don't have to spend money on them. But you could use whoever you wanted there. Let's see. Let's get a better weapon for Veerge there. And let's see. There is a better gun here for Renmazio, but that only affects your weak and fierce attacks. And look at the price tag on that thing. So I'm just going to pass on it, wait until we actually find something better for him. But I do want to get a little better ammo here for the fierce attacks. They're cheap enough, even if I'm never going to use them. And let's see, we got this elemental ammo for the matchlock. That's for your weak attacks, not your ether attacks. So if you were going to take advantage of it, I'd probably go with arrow, but... Like I said, I'm not going to buy that stuff, so don't worry about it. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I'm going to get all the upgrades for Veltal and Virge. And let's see, for this, yeah, it's going to say that that piece of armor is weaker, but I want the Aether defense there, so that's totally worth it. And refuel while we're at it. But yeah, I'm only going to upgrade Veltal and Virge here because this is going to be the last gear dungeon for disc one and by the time it matters on disc two we'll have even better upgrades available so i want to do as little upgrading as possible and let's see uh zeepsen 
has, yeah, that's 50 attack power there. Holy cow. So, yeah, it has better upgrades than we can even buy on disc one. So, yeah, there's no point in that. Did I refuel the urge? I think I forgot. No, I did. Okay. And I think that's everything there. Okay, so let's get our new equipment going here. So let's see, with Faye, let's see, I want to go with the evasion setup that I had uh, on Bart there earlier. Faye's got the best agility in our group. Let's see, for Maria here, let's see, I'm going to need the ether doubler for Ellie there. Let's see, I'm just going to give... Maria, my usual physical accuracy setup. That can help out a little bit in the water. And let's see, we got an ether doubler and a couple of ether stones. Okay. Yeah, this is about one of the very few instances where I actually want an ether doubler for Ellie's ethers. Okay, so for Veltal, I just want. Let's, what do we get? Uh, I want the D circuits that I've been holding on to because we're going to be underwater. We need help with our agility there. And let's see. For Zeepsen. Basically the same thing. I just want the death blower ones so that way I can get a bit more accuracy with my death blows if it came down to it, which it probably will. And for Veerge, even though I'm concerned about her agility, especially when we're going to be underwater there. I'm not going to give her a D circuit because I want to get as much power out of fruit ethers that I can so that the battles won't last long enough for agility to really become a problem anyway. And yeah, I think that's everything we got there. So let's get on back to the Yggdrasil. For some reason, I forgot that the Yggdrasil was going to take us to the Sargasso point. For some reason, I thought the Thames was going to take us there. But no, now we just go right back to the ship. Oh, I suppose I should have warned you, though. Uh, when you get to the Thames and they're outfitting your gear for under... or your gears for underwater, I don't think we can leave anymore until we're done with that dungeon. We don't even actually go there manually. The game just automatically takes us there. I mean, it'll show where it is on the map, but that's about it. Well, we got there fast. Let's see, you've got that little moving dot that's kind of right next to us. I think that's Shiva there. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Maybe... No, it can't be Solaris, because we can't see them. But whatever. Okay, so we're in the underwater dungeon. This dungeon is hard. The, the enemies can really hit you for a lot of damage. So you want to watch out for that. And there's no healing or refueling points. Okay, so here we got new enemies. Merman. These guys got 2300 HP. And they've got 30% evasion, but with the... Uh, with the magnetic coats, we should be nearly guaranteed to hit them. But, yeah, even though it looks like these guys are right next to each other, they're not. So I can't hit both of them with the multi-targeting ether from Alley. We'll just go with single targeting. Almost everything in this dungeon is weak to wind or lightning. So just use that ether. That'll get the job done. Ow! Holy cow, that hurt. Yeah, you can see how even Ellie, who has the least agility, still got her turn first. I'm not 100% certain on this, but I think initial turn order is based on your base agility, not your adjusted agility when you're, like, underwater or something. So that's another reason why I don't care to equip a D circuit on her. Let's see, there's going to be a couple branching paths here. Left path is a dead end, so let's take the right path here. I'm kind of reminded of the Serpent Trench in Final Fantasy VI. Except more death. 
and a new enemy. Okay, Medusoid. These guys, I think, got 50% agility. Or evasion, I mean. And, yep, there it is. Well, hopefully I'll be able to take one of them out with Ellie, at least. I don't know if uh, Zeepsen will be able to hit them, but, well, we'll see. That's, this is part of the reason why I gave her that the accuracy boosting accessories. That's, well, I guess we get to see what these guys can do. Ow. Yeah, that wasn't so bad, but... I meant to use my death blow, but... Okay, just doing a fierce attack worked too. These guys got 400 HP. But are otherwise not too threatening. We're not doing too bad going through here so far. Yeah, some of the camera angles are a little funny like this. Trying to figure out where you can and can't go. Because it's awfully dark down here, too. I don't like dark dungeons. I like to be able to see where I'm going. But alright, here we got... Well, this is a new variation of the Death Scythe there. Ow! I really hope I don't need to use my... Frame HP 30. I shouldn't, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, just like all the other enemies, it's weak to thunder! And it's got 9,000 HP. This is the reason why I've got all those power magics and the Ether Doubler on Ellie. If I am missing even one of those, I probably can't kill the Death Scythe before it gets another turn. Although, why all the enemies are getting it up on... Veltal, I don't know. But yeah, that guy you saw, he hits really hard here. Now let's see. We got a path to the right that leads to a save point. I don't want to go there right now. I'll come back there in a moment. For now, let's go this way and there's some treasure I want to get. And then I'll swing back around and get to the save point. Along with some other treasure that's there too. Now, you can kind of feel this current that's blowing against you here. And I want to get to the path to the left. Without getting blown back. Okay, we got a new enemy here, Aragonix. These guys have 800 HP. But if I miss them, that hurts a lot. But also, I've got Ellie up to level 55. And she gets her multi-tar- or all-targeting- uh, ethers at this point, so if they actually hit them, I would have just used a single targeting ether, but since he didn't, he's our multi-targeting one. Yeah, look at that damage. <laughs> Overkill. Yeah, that was a lot more than I needed, but yeah, once Ellie gets up to 55, yeah, she can really lay the hurt on large groups of enemies down here. I thought about grinding for the level before this, but nah, I, don't, I didn't think that was necessary. Okay, let's just try to get over to the left, if I can. Maybe try jumping to get past it. There we go. The path to the right there leads to the end, but we can't get past it right now. Ellie is also going to be learning the other elemental ethers that hit all enemies. But let's see, after that last battle, yeah, she's getting a bit light on EP there, so good thing I stocked up on a Mega Sol, so it'll help out a lot in this dungeon. Unfortunately, they do not restore the HP of your gears, though. Hmm, where's this light coming from this far under the sea? Well, let's find out. Ooh, we got some treasure over here. Eh, a little bit of a weapon upgrade for Ellie there. Nice. What was that sound? Hmm. Well, I'll just tell you. That sound, for whatever reason, opening that box causes the uh, current from that stream to subside so we could get past it. I don't want to go there just yet because that takes us to the end of the dungeon. I want to actually get back over to the save point before heading down that path, and it's not that big of a detour.
Okay, so let's see this. Oh, no, we're not there yet. Where's the fork here? There it is. Okay, so that path to the right there, that leads to the end. We couldn't quite see all the moss or whatever that stuff is blocking that path. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't change the camera angle while I'm going backwards like this. Okay, so I am looking for a path to the right. There it is. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell where these things begin and end sometimes. Yeah, I remember my first time through this dungeon, the enemies were just so hard that I just ran from everything to get through this area alive. <laughs> Even with frame HP 30, it's just hard to keep up with them if you don't have, like, your ethers or you don't bring Ellie along or whatever. Or you're just not ready for it in general. Okay, let's see. Let's make a backup here. And then we'll continue to the end. Yeah, this isn't a very big dungeon in general. It feels bigger, though, because of how hard the enemies hit you. Oh, I thought we were at the fork already. Okay, let's work out our way to the, the stream that is no longer there. Don't cross the streams, you'll... Regret it, viewers. Okay, so the visual cue you're looking for... Yeah, now that we can get close enough, we can see the... Whatever, algae, moss, whatever that stuff is... Blocking the path. And then it's just a straight shot to the end. And the stream is almost carrying me. Oh, now it is. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Did we make it? Something happened. Aha! There we go. Eh, we could hold on to that, though. I don't think I ever really used that. It is slightly more efficient than using the Death Blower one. But if a battle lasted long enough for me to be able to use a Death Blower 2, I wouldn't really need it. Or I would do other things, or whatever. Man, how did they get this thing all the way down there? Oh, what's that gear? What's with that music? Well, I don't even know you! Whoa, who's that guy? Nuts. You got you did you drink like way too much caffeine today? Or nano machines? Ah. Well Doesn't everyone follow Kralion in Solaris, technically? Well, except the Emperor. What are you talking about? You don't seem very calm to me, buddy. But, okay, whatever works for you. You think you got some short circuits here? Oh, there's that name I heard before. Oh, okay, I guess we're not worried about that guy. But can we defeat her and destroy the third gate to Solaris? Find out next time on Let's Play Zeal Gears. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!